The Octagon is back in Boston. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC on ESPN6 between Chris Weidman and Dominic Reyes. Chris Weidman, the former middleweight champ, is moving up to debut at light heavyweight against a dangerous southpaw. Now, Weidman has faced southpaws before. In fact, he is 7-2 against UFC southpaws, and he's also 5-0 in UFC made events, so perhaps those trends are looking good for the former champ, though I don't think he wants to strike. I think he wants to get to his wrestling early and try to put that pressure and pace on Reyes. Reyes has faced a little bit of tougher fights as he's gotten up the division. Deceptively tough fights against large light heavyweights in Oban St. Preux and Vulcan Ozdemir. However, if you really look at those fights, you, you can see that Reyes is actually fighting pretty smart there. Uh, arguably beyond his years, winning the third rounds, going to the body, going to the legs. So it's a bit of a deceptive sample size. Otherwise, he's been blowing guys out of the water. Will he do it in this fight? The odds makers tend to think so. Right now, depending on what house you're looking at, you'll find Reyes as your installed favorite, roughly in the neighborhood of minus 165, with the comeback on the underdog being the former champ Weidman, roughly at plus 145. Now, I love Weidman. I don't like disrespecting the vets, but I can see why the odds makers in public are kind of deriving themselves at this conclusion. Uh, I do agree that, that, that Reyes should be the favorite. I also do agree that Weidman is a live dog. If he can get his wrestling going early, perhaps pave a clear path, then maybe we can see Reyes tested in his submission defense like other fighters have not been able to test him before. However, I think Reyes is wrestling and his background in wrestling, albeit uh, high school accolades and state championships, he's been able to apply his athleticism from football in a really special way. He is really tough to take down that long frame. He's got insane balance and absurd athleticism. So I think he makes it a tough road to hoe. I'll actually take Reyes to survive that early storm and, and perhaps put it on, on Weidman on the feet late. It's, it's not a a pick that I'm necessarily uber confident in, but that's the pick I'm going to go with. Regardless of whether or not you go with me, check out my breakdown on MMAJunkie.com and keep it locked, MMA Junkie, all week long. We'll have you covered.